And we are once again at Anemone Beach. But now on the past, here to solve something. Again. Hey, there's a tornado here, and I'm not going to question it. Monsters didn't get the upgrade they got in the, um, the forest, though. And it's a good place to grind out some coins, which I'll probably do later off screen. Don't want to make you have to sit through that. Okay. Not much else here, but we can at least move through it a lot faster now that we have access to some of the more, uh, some of the later animals in the game. Like, I can get the switch. I. Oh, if I put, like, this uh, squirrel on or something. Oh, that'll work. There we go. And you see Sonic's little chair is missing. I want to say in the American version it's still there, but I'm, I might be imagining it. Okay, first indication that something is going wrong. A monster called Baron is on the rampage, apparently. Can't be two rampages, because everything here looks exactly the same, but who knows. Oh, we're joined by a monkey. I believe in the American version they call him Smelly or something. And the monkey in present day always comes to like his ancestor being a brave but smelly monkey. Let's see. Little bear doesn't want to fight. That's a good point. I have a weapon. Why why don't I help? Yep, Ramsey doesn't have any animals for hire, which is fine with me because I don't want to pay for him anyway. Let's see, let's check the elephant. Three jumps in the switch in case you forgot. And he doesn't want to help anyone but himself. Well, that's... Well. Uh, that's with kids, maybe. I'm only 14. Don't, don't even start with me on... Oh, you're only a kid. Uh, can't go back there. Oh, there's the rocks. And, uh, we've been through everything. Oh, here we go. Monkey's wife. Mm hmm. Is worried he's going to do something rash. And Fox, I think is the last one. And doesn't want to fight because she's a lady and wants to run away. Hey, she's at it. Okay. He thanks us for our attempt to convince everybody, and is going to go out and try to find one himself. Of course, you know this isn't going to work. And no, they still don't. I guess I haven't acknowledged that he left yet. Now comes a slightly tricky part. You see, they don't really come out and spell where Baron is. Uh, they mentioned that the monkey was fighting him on the beach. He just sort of appeared somewhere. But you can go up and down this beach and not find anything, except for, like, the monkey, which we'll talk to in just a second. And no, it's not that little cave. It's just like a... It's like the holes in the ground. You see your eyes poking out of them. Let's slash up some monsters, get a few coins while we're messing around here. In truth, I'm looking for something. But it's hard to say. I'll, I'll tell you what I'm looking for in just a minute. Let's do a little more running first, though. Oddly enough, I don't think this monster has anything to do with the starfish or the crabs. Which is good, because if it got rid of them, I'd be having a hard time grinding that stuff out later. Okay. Whoop, there's another hole. Hmm. I know it's... Well, I guess I'll just go ahead and tell you. The, uh, the monster, the boss monster, is hidden in a little 3x3 three three spot somewhere in the sand. The only way you can find it is to keep running around until you find a spot where your footprints don't appear. However, it's kind of it's really small and it's not that easy to see. Oh, especially if you only see the one spot. And let's see, oh, here's the monkey. And he's unconscious. The shock of his wounds is kind of weird considering the monster himself, but we'll see that in a minute. Hmm, they're getting tons of money from this. Oh, I 
I just saw it right there. Let's get the money first. Okay, yeah, you see the spot here? Because you can't get footsteps on it. So what do you want to do? Jump on it. And here's the boss. A giant pill bug. Now here's the interesting thing. This boss can't do physical damage. He might be able to hurt you in this form. Yeah, it kind of, it kind of hurt me. But uh, for the most part, he just knocks you around. He can knock you off this little floating board thing. That's the only threat he poses. However, if I do no damage on him, you'll see there's another problem. I could probably do more damage with the strongest ice attack here, but the Leviathan, the speed of the Leviathan makes it a lot easier. You can also just slash these guys, though. Oh, oh, come on. Okay. Oh. Yep, you've seen this boss and other things, too. But, uh... Well, I think the, um... The slanting board thing's unusual. I think there's like a Zelda boss where it's surrounded by spikes or something. Oh, well. Getting closer. Just a few more. And almost got them. So you can imagine how much harder this would be with the normal sword, because with it twice as many hits. Oh, well, we got them. Okay, here's where they start trying to push the messages. Oh, monsters. It's not their fault. I do have to point out in this case in particular that Baron was terrorizing the beach, apparently. I guess you could say maybe the monkey attacked him first, but the flower said he was terrorizing the beach before. I don't know. I'm honestly not sure what to make of that. Yeah, these guys are a little behind on the times. And now they've learned all, all learned from the monkey's mess, uh, example. Even the elephants. Uh, yep, everyone's learned their lesson. And let's see, check Ramsey out. He's not here. Uh, Foxy, maybe? Nope, nothing at Foxy's. Oh, here they are. Okay. Yeah. Oh, if he survives, he'll be grateful. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Animals helping people. Are the, that's a good idea. If only I could charge money for it. Okay. Everyone in the village went to find him. Which is why he, the monkeys lead the village to current day. Hmm. Bear speaks, seemingly embarrassed. To be fair, he didn't have his cheetah, so... Or his sword. Yep. And you, young man, I thank you for my wish from another time. Well... Funny. He closes his eyes. As the monkey closes his eyes, a white mist enveloped the area. And now I just sort of appear in the mayor's house. He doesn't seem bothered by this, so okay. Okay. Yeah, he just mentions his ancestor. Okay, not a lot else going on here. Uh, there wasn't a, a gold apple in the area, the dungeon above this, but one, I don't want to mess with the wind currents again. Two, when I had to redo my game a while back when I forgot to save. Oh, yeah, <laughs> the eloped couple from Soleil Town. Uh, but yeah, when I came back here to, uh, after having to play the game again, I found it was possible to get it by um, throwing the sword, then running to a position where it returned through the switch. As for this puzzle, we're just going to need the butterfly. 
Let's stick with a Lyathon for now so I can do it quickly. Oh, okay. I can get this. Oh. Come on. And good. Nope, missed. I'm just being impatient. You could just use the butterfly with something else and it'd be fine. Now we need it to be sticky. Thing to remember is that even with the butterfly, your sword only has so far it'll go unless you have the MOA equipped. You have the MOA equipped, you can't have the Dodo equipped. So. Okay. I could easily see them making a sequel to this game where you could equip three animals or maybe four animals at a time. But it's been pretty much forgotten even by Virtual Console, so probably not going to happen. Okay, well that's an enemy beach. You can see the monsters here didn't go away, but you could argue that they're not monsters, it's just the sea creatures that live here. And intensely hate humans, apparently. I can't blame them. Okay. I remember first time playing this, wondering if you could get Sonic to join your team. I didn't really understand the comic concept of cameos at the time. I wonder if that's why it can't be on the virtual... Well, I don't know, there's, there's Sonic games on the virtual console. I can't see that bothering them in this day and age. Okay, 750, we're pretty close. Okay, I'll very likely just go ahead and... Uh, get the coins before the next uh, game. For now, let's go ahead and head down to the next place, which is Dahlia Valley, where we pick up from next time. Thanks for watching. See you then.